Hi, I'm Maggie Hudson. Welcome to PhotographyHacker.com. Today I want to share with you a technique called panning. It's really fun. You're going to lower your shutter speed to be able to capture the motion of the subject in your frame. You're still wanting your subject to be crisp, clear, and in focus, but you want to show in the background of the photo that they're in motion and what direction they're moving. So in the following video, I was panning a subject. I'm going to show you some things that you might want to avoid as well as some techniques you're going to try out to get some panning in your own photography. Have fun. In this clip, I wanted to demonstrate what most people do as action's happening. You get excited, you know you only have a couple seconds to capture it, so you try to move with it. What this is gonna cause is lots of blurriness in your photos. Here are some of those samples that I was talking about with the shutter speeds that I use to capture them. As you can see, the main subject is almost as blurry as the background. Although the effect is kind of cool to see the motion in the background, you want to make sure that you're still capturing your subject nice, crisp, and clear in the foreground. Instead of moving with them as they're coming through the frame, what you want to do is make sure your body is as still as possible and the only thing that should be moving is your camera with whatever you want in focus in the photo. Now with these I was trying to make sure that Bill's face was in focus so as I was looking through my camera I was making sure to look at his face to make sure that my camera moved right along with it in the photos. Here's some samples along with some shutter speeds. I wanted to make sure that you could see that I used the same shutter speeds between 1 40th and 1 60th of a second as you saw in the first photos. But because of my technique and how I had my body planted and I moved only my camera and lens with the subject, I was able to get him in focus while maintaining that nice blurry effect in the background. And that was a quick tutorial on panning. I really hope you go out and try that one. It's so much fun, especially when you nail it just right. This is Maggie Hudson. Thanks for stopping by photographyhacker.com. For the latest news, videos, and some exclusive content, make sure you sign up for our newsletter at photographyhacker.com.